guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So, it's here. I have finally gotten around to filming my house tour. I know it has taken me an absolute minute to get this up, but I've finally done it, and I'm very excited to share with you all what my home looks like. Um, I will be telling you kind of throughout the video where everything is from, if I know it off the top of my head. If I don't, it will be linked below, or I'll write it over the screen, because I'll do a little bit of exploring um, on the internet to just double check before this video goes live. But if you would like a little tour around my house, then please keep watching. It is such a sunny day today, which is amazing, because it makes my house look even nicer. But I thought it would be best to start off at the front door. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what my doormat looks like. Okay, so this is my doormat. So my friend Joel actually got this for me. This is from Crep Locker, I think that's what it's called. Um, again, I'll link it below for you guys, but I am absolutely obsessed with this doormat. I think that they do different variations, so you can like choose, instead of having Yeezys, you can have like Louboutins, or I don't know, there's probably loads of other different ones, but I'm obsessed with it um okay so then you come in i've got this little no basic sign on the wall here um i actually had this made for me by my friends so it's not from somewhere in particular it's just a print that they had made and then framed for my birthday um so i can't really say where it's from but you can easily just have one made up Okay, so you come through the front door and it looks like this. So I'm gonna start with the kitchen first of all because it is my favorite place in the house. It's my favorite place in all houses, I think. So this is my kitchen, nice open plan area, which is just kind of like my favorite vibe for a house. It's just, I can't live anywhere unless it's bright and open. So I'll just give you a little tour around the kitchen. Nothing crazy exciting, I've got dishcloth in there. Probably should have put that away, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you a tour around here. So certain things you guys ask about on Instagram. So we've got my pineapple here. This has got, it's actually a pot thing. It's got dishwasher tablets in it. Oh God, I need some more. Um, and that is from HomeSense, this pineapple. It's great. My friend Libby actually had one and I went around to hers and I was like, oh my God, I need one of these pineapples. So she took me to HomeSense and I bought myself one and they're so handy because they look pretty but you can keep things that are boring like dishwasher tablets in them. So then we've got fruit baskets, got a Yankee candle over here, which smells unreal as well. This is the scent of that one. It's a nice kind of kitchen smell. Um, yeah, so I've got my fruit bowls. These were both from really random little shops that I went into in Brighton. They were no chain, just one-off stores. So they, I don't actually know, they don't have a brand or anything in particular, but I just like that they're rose gold. Um, we've got round this side, all the boring stuff. Got my kettle, got my coffee machine. I've got a big chopping board at the back. This is quite cute, actually. I moved this out of the way. So my mum um, gave me this chopping board for my fifth anniversary of my blog because five years is wood so she gave me this chopping board and it says she believed she could so she did on the bottom and then it has engraved there it says happy Aunt Sarah happy anniversary or happy fifth anniversary love mum and dad which is very cute and it's got the date on it so um yeah and I learned something new because I didn't realize that five years was wood so that was a uh, new so yeah we got ovens all that kind of stuff, my driveway outside there. And then you come along here. Um, I'll do my bar stools. So these are my stools. They're so, I'm obsessed with these stools. They're so pretty. I love the stud detail in them. They're really, really nice. Again, I don't know the name exactly for where these are from off the top of my head, but I will link them below for you guys. I also remember them being a really decent price considering how nice they are because they look really, really expensive, especially with the stud detail like around them. They're so pretty. I've got a little wine fridge here, which is handy. It's actually a wine fridge, but it's absolutely like full to the brim of beer. So kind of not really being a wine fridge, but it's fine probably just like sums me up really. So then just by this big window here also, the sun has made me realize how much I need to get my windows cleaned. That is so bad. I mean, Jesus Christ, but it's fine. So here I've got a little vase with some flowers in it. These flowers are actually from House of Fraser. I have had these flowers now for like two and a half years. They are so good, like such good fakes because they really don't look it. They were quite expensive, but I mean, I've had them for two years now, so you know, it's kind of worth it. And the vase is also from House of Fraser. So I just like that as a little bit of a feature for that kind of space because I don't really use that door as a side door to kind of go out into the garden, but I don't really use it. So it just fills it up, adds a little something, something. Um, and then I've got this big mirror here, which is kind of hard to show you when it's sunny, but this mirror is from Ikea. Really handy mirrors, super cheap. And these mirrors are perfect because they're so big and obviously as you know, mirrors make spaces look bigger and it just kind of helps with the light of the place. So yeah, and also it's great for little Instagram snaps. 
always handy. So yeah, and then I also, over in this area, so I've got, hang on, I'll just reverse, I'll slow down. So, got this kind of big open area here, which I was gonna put like a dining room table here, but I never got round to it, and so now it's just basically just an open space, which I'm kind of fine with, it doesn't really bother me. So, this mirror is exactly the same as that one I've just showed you. I've got two of them, don't ask me why, but they're just handy, and I just like having them all around the house, all the mirrors. So I've got this plant over here, which is an artificial one, but it's amazing. It's such a good artificial one, and it comes in a little pot. I thought this was from Ikea, but I actually don't think it is. I feel like I got this from somewhere else. So I will link below where that plant is from for you guys. Then over here we have my ultimate favourite thing, which is my Good Vibes neon sign. That is from a place, I think it was, I found them on Etsy, and it is Signs, but it's spelled S-Y-G-N-S. -S. So yeah, I'm literally in love with this. It was quite pricey, but it looks really cool. So Then I've got this little shelving unit here. This is from Ikea. Just kind of just put a little trinket and things in, really. Um, I've got my initials, SLA, here. Those are from Next. And then here is a little quote that my mum gave me. It's my favourite Dr. Zeus quote. I don't know where she got that from, but I'll have a Google and see if I can find anything similar. I've got my little skull candle holders. These are from Paper Chase. Just got some boxes of stuff. Down here, I've got my YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque. I've got a few little extra things. This is a drinking game, which is absolutely hilarious, by the way. It's so funny. And then I've got my wine rack at the bottom here. That was a present from my sister for Christmas and it is from Oliver Bonus. So then just across here I have a rack. Basically it's just more space for me to kind of like hang clothes, organise things when they arrive. And it's just a kind of a way to kind of get things off the floor or just lying around. That rack is from Argos. Really handy. I've I honestly think I'm going to order about five more of them just because they're really just, as I say, really, really handy to have. Okay, so I've just come over by the window. So this is kind of like a pan around of where we have just looked at. So that's kind of like that space over there. Got the kitchen. So as you can see, it's so bright and it's so spacious. I, I do love this downstairs area. This area just completely sold it to me because it's everything you kind of want from a big entertaining area, really. So then along here, we've got my print. So these are a mixture. So this one and this one are from Silo shop and this one in the middle is from another brand that I cannot think the name off the top of my head but I will link that one below. I've got a few different prints all over but I'm obsessed with wall prints. I just think they look so cool. This one actually inspired me to get that female symbol behind my ear. If you guys know I've got a little tattoo of that behind my ear. Basically because I was just obsessed with that poster and I was like I want that tattoo. Okay so next up we have my sofa which is ginormous as you can see. So this sofa is actually from um, a place called Love My Sofa but it is unfortunately one of the most uncomfortable sofas I think I've ever sat on. So I'm actually looking at getting a new one because it's like sitting on a park bench, unfortunately, which is a shame because it does look nice, but it's just so uncomfortable. Then I've got this rug down here. I kind of wanted to bring in the kind of like pinky hues to go with the poster and the rug and the neon sign and things like that. It's a very big rug as well, which is ideal. It's annoying that that sun's coming in over that, but you get, the, you get the vibe. I can't remember exactly where this rug is from, but I will link it below for you all. Then over here, we've got a massive pink furry Mongolian fur rug. Um, I got this off a random website, which I will link this below. I found it online and I'm just obsessed with the color of it. It's such a nice pink and it just adds a little kind of like, it's a nice kind of decoration to any sofa. It's very cute. So then this looks out onto my garden, as you can see, I've got these really big bifold floor to ceiling windows which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, we've got my outdoor furniture which is from a company that I can't remember the name of. Um, I will link it below for you guys. It comes with cushions and it's so comfortable and I love that it's like a big kind of like sofa vibe. It's really good for entertaining. And we've got literally like I've got bird bath over there as well. Shed kind of like outhouse shed thing over there which I store a lot of stuff in. Okay, so coming over this way, we've got my TV stand thing and my TV. So the TV stand here, this one is from Dwell. I actually had this in my old flat and bought it to the new house just because I love this one. It's a really nice TV unit stand thing. I used to have my TV actually on it, but now I've got bigger space. I've put it on the wall. I've got my Sonos underneath there. I've got Nintendo, you know, why not? And then I think DVD player. I don't know why I've got a DVD player, but hey ho. Um, and I've got some more candles and things over here and then a new vase that I got for Christmas that one is from I think that's from John Lewis that one okay and then if you come this way so back through the kitchen 
and cross the hallway. So I've got this room, which is essentially an office room. Um, it's also a bit of a, not a dumping ground, but somewhere where I attempt to be organized. So it's got baskets that I put like the clothes that I'm uh, giving away or selling, or that are going to charity, all that kind of stuff. Then I've got more kind of organizing stuff over here for like makeup more boxes for things I'm giving away. Um, I've got my suitcases. This zebra rug, by the way, is from Ikea. Also, all of these, everything you see, like all the storage units, the boxes over here, um, they are all from Ikea, everything. So around this way, I've got a desk. This was meant to be a proper office space, but I very rarely use it. I prefer to sit like on my bed or in front of the TV using my laptop. And also I did have an iMac, but Joe stole it and took it to work with him. So it's kind of a relevant desk now. But the desk is from Ikea, if you are wondering. And then I've got my map on the wall here, which is from Maps International. I had this one um, personalized. You can write kind of anything you want on the bottom of these maps. And it is a pinboard map, as you can see. So you can put your pins in um, of where you've been in the world. I would honestly recommend anyone having one of these. I think they're so fun, especially if you do travel a lot. It's just nice to kind of have somewhere to really see where you've been in the world. It's also very good for geography knowledge. It really taught me a lot because my geography is absolutely shocking. I've also got a little board here. Nick gave me this for my birthday, which is very cute. I'm not, again, because that was a birthday present, I don't know where it's from, but it's just got some little cute memories on it. And then I've got this little drawer unit here, more storage. That is from Ikea, and I've got gym stuff and everything else there. So as you can see, this room is a little bit of like a nothing room, but I feel like every house has got to have one of those kind of rooms. You're not normal unless you have a room that you kind of just like close the door when people come over and you're like, that room doesn't exist. Do you know what I mean? Makes you human. We've all got it. We've all got a cupboard, whether it's an entire room or a cupboard. Everyone has got a room that they close the door and pretend doesn't exist. Yeah, I forgot to mention, through that door is a downstairs loo, by the way. Okay, now I'm going to do the upstairs of my house. So when you come up the stairs, my bedroom is at the end here, but I will do that one last because it's my favourite room of the whole house. So in here, you guys have seen this before because it was on one of my vlogs. This is my wardrobe room. I mean, I just love this room. It just makes me happy because it's just got so many fun things to look at, really. So... Let's talk about the storage I've got in here. These shelves are from Homebase. It's not a special storage system for shoes or anything. I just said, can I please have some shelves? And my handyman went out and got these, which is very good. And they do the job perfectly. So yeah, they're from Homebase. And then these wardrobe units are from Ikea. Um, you can buy them in so many different kind of like ways. You can get them, as you can see, this one is like extra long it hasn't got the shelf at the bottom you can get them with ones that have got like um skinny bit and then like loads of shelving it's really good I ikea you know they are just absolutely nailing it when it comes to kind of like storage furniture the actually the boxes at the bottom here that you see that have got stuff in um they were given to me by the girl who organized my wardrobe this thing in the middle i think it's called a poof i want to call it that i'm pretty sure that is what it's called this is from made.com and it's just a really handy thing to have to sit on put your shoes on all that kind of stuff i've also got another one of those ikea wardrobes over here just because they obviously wouldn't all fit in a row so i've just got an extra one in the corner then i've also got over here this giant mirror this is from the mirror outlet it's where i get all my mirrors from apart from those ikea ones downstairs any big big mirrors come from there because they are so reasonably priced but they are massive just down here in the corner is my handheld steamer from amazon these are amazing. They are so handy if you've got to like steam a lot of clothes on a daily basis. I don't iron anymore because this has changed my life. I will link that below for you guys. Okay, and then over here we have my dressing table. The mirror is from Illuminated Mirrors. The actual dressing table itself is from Danelle. I feel like the light from behind is making this look really weird. I might just close the blinds. I might stand over here. I feel like the light doesn't get affected so much. But no, so the dressing table is from Danelm. The chair is from Ikea. This dressing table, though, is so handy. As you can see, it's got loads of drawers, loads of space. Down here, I've just got storage boxes and makeup and things like that. This brush holder thing I've got in the middle here, that's from Spectrum Collections. Really handy because it's massive. You can put all your brushes in it, which is ideal. Oh, also, just while I'm thinking about it, this phone case I've got here. This phone case is one of those um, anti-gravity phone cases that sticks to mirrors. So if I put that, oh, that's on wonky, but you get that, you get the gist. So you can put your phone in that and then film using it. So you can put your, um, you know, like when you can 
use Instagram story with like hands free, all that kind of stuff where you just want a video, anything. It's really handy. You can stick it on any glass or mirror. I feel like it says any surface, but I think it's better on glass and mirror. It's from Amazon, so I'll link that phone case below, but it's great for when you're trying to film something like hair tutorials or makeup, anything like that. It's very handy. So that is that room. And then across the hall this way. So this house actually used to literally just be a little two up, two down house. So this part here is the, as you can see, this kind of bit just there. That's where the extension started from. So it used to just be this room, this room, and the two rooms downstairs in a small kitchen. But obviously with the extension added, it's much bigger. Got a little good vibes only sign there. That one was from Amazon, I think. Yeah, so in here I've just got my spare room. Nothing really exciting to talk about in here. I've got my lights that I use for YouTube. So I've got two soft boxes and a ring light. So I've just got a few extra of my prints. I just keep them on this bed so they lay out nice and flat. Extra duvets and stuff, literally nothing exciting in this room. Then this bed, this was my old bed in my old flat and it is from, the headboard and stuff is from Dreams. Um, that Good Vibes pillow by the way, if anyone is wondering. Um, that is from Urban Outfitters, I think it was, but it's quite old, so whether they still have it or not, I'm not too sure. I will just show you though, over this side, I've got another one of these storage unit things from Ikea. So handy. You just can't go wrong with Ikea when it comes to storage things. Now going this way, in here, just have another downstairs loo. Boring, nothing exciting in there. So yeah, so in here, as I said, we have my bedroom and it is absolutely my favorite room of the whole house. I mean, it's gotta be said, it's gotta be my favorite room just because of the size of this window. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, as you can see, it's not the most private of windows. So I actually keep those blinds at the bottom here, like up most of the time but I probably take them up to about halfway just so no one can see in and I still get so much light in here. Then over here we have my bed. So the bed is also from Love My Sofa, but unfortunately it arrived broken. So I'm not sure if I'd actually recommend them as a brand, but I do love the headboard and the bed. It does look amazing. So it's very, very pretty. So the sheets are on my bed currently. I think they're from dusk.com. Okay, bedside table. So the actual bedside tables themselves were from Wayfair, but they came with just little silver um, handles on the drawers, but I got these crystal ones from Danelm and just kind of unscrewed them and screwed these ones in. So it just kind of makes them look a little bit more expensive and then it goes with my bedside table lamps. I can't remember the exact website these came from, but I will link them below. I'm obsessed with these lamps. My mum did say though, she was like, you can never ever get rid of them because she had to individually put on each one of these crystals because they arrive and you have to literally basically create the chandelier yourself. But it was worth it because they look absolutely amazing, so I love them. On the bed, we've got Squidge. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know all about Squidge. I've also got Flopsy, which Joe gave me. Long story. You'll find out why in my next video. So, pillows, those white ones at the back, they're from dust.com as well. The grey ones are from HomeSense, and then the S pillow is from Next. Over here we've got some more prints, so we've got, this one is from CeeLo, and I think this one, this one's not from CeeLo, this is from that other, I think it's called, it begins with D, I feel like, I think it's like D, Diano or something, I don't know, but I will link it below for you guys. Okay, so over this side, we have my giant cream fluffy rug. It is from HomeSense, and it was an absolute bargain, it was like 85, maybe 90 pounds, and I was like, oh my god, because all the rugs I've been looking at online that were like this size, were so expensive. HomeSense cannot recommend it enough, you just get such bargains in there. And then on this wall, we've got my giant bedroom mirror, which I am absolutely obsessed with. It's so big, literally it's massive. But I wanted a mirror just like that, and as I said, same as the other one, this is from the Mirror Outlet. Cannot recommend them enough, guys. Their mirrors are so, so good. Um, in the corner, I've got my Dyson fan, because I get so hot at night. <laughs> and all my hair stuff over there. This area, I was actually going to put in like a corner unit for storage and stuff, but just never ever got around to it. Also because I wanted to kind of get something to cover up that wire from the TV, because it's really not ideal, just hanging there. But it's fine, never got around to it. It's one of those things that you say you're going to do, but you actually never do. But I think we can all relate to that, that there's always something that you end up saying you're going to do and it just never gets done. And then in this door here is just an ensuite bathroom off the bedroom. Not very interesting, it's just, this is my bathroom, so as you can see I've literally got every single product under the sun in here, literally. All of the products, typical girl's bathroom. If a girl's bathroom doesn't look like this, that's just weird, right? So yeah, it's got the sink, it's got a mirror here, 
quite a tight little bathroom, but it's fine. It does the job. So that is basically my house. That is officially all of the rooms in my little house. I hope I have covered everything but if there's anything that you've seen while I've been walking around and you thought wait where, where is that from just like leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to either remember or let you know I am so glad that I finally got this up honestly I'm so sorry it took me so long I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this and having a little look around my home give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys